Hello everyone, thank you for checking out today's video. Welcome to the very first episode of our Road to Glory series on College Football 25. We are playing on a PS5, just for those that are curious, and I love this series. I haven't played, uh, I think the last time a college football game came out was like 10 years ago, so uh, there was a lawsuit that was filed that kind of um, stopped them from making the game, but all that has changed and we got a brand new game that came out the other day. So I am going to be doing a series on the dynasty mode, which is where we build our career as a coach. Then we also have our road to glory where we create your legacy as a player. Um, I do live in Las Vegas, so that's why I selected the UNLV Rebels as my favorite team. And uh, let's see if we can actually create our player on the Rebels as well. I did have to turn off all the cool college football music because I was pretty certain it was going to get copyright on it. So I'm um, sorry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start a brand new Road to Glory. Hey everyone, this is Desmond Howard and welcome to Road to Glory. Before we get going, have a look around and customize the mode settings to your liking. Here is where you can also set up custom conferences. I have not played this game in years, so I'm definitely starting off as freshman. So sorry about that, guys. Um... This shortens the game length while providing more realistic clock management. Okay, let's do that. We'll make it a little bit more realistic. Minimum play clock time sets the remaining time the play clock will be set to when using accelerated clock now. Wear and tear, sure, why not? Uh, league advancement, manual, so set the manual to control. Weak advancement, set the auto to automatically advance each time after you play your game. Um, okay, that should be good for now. If we have to, we could always shorten the quarters or make them longer. Custom conferences, I, we're in the Mountain West, so I'm good with that. Now let's get started by choosing the caliber of recruit you want to be. The higher your star rating, the better your chances of seeing the field early. Plus, you get some extra mental abilities to help boost what you can do on the field. So I guess this is just a preference thing, so I don't see anything special. Yeah, so if you want to start as an underdog, you can. So I think Elite is good, because then that way we'll start off with a little bit higher stats. And I wanted to start off as a quarterback, too. Gives us the most playing time and the most control of the game. So let's do Elite. Actually, is there a difference? Um, not by much. Yeah, we'll get the most for that. Next is time to choose the position you'd like to play. A quarterback, a defender, or <laughs> now you'll pick what type of player you'd like to be. Keep an eye on the ratings caps as they change with each archetype. Physical abilities are tied to each archetype and they, like mental abilities, enhance how you play your position. So we're definitely gonna be a scrambler. So Here, we're we'll customize your bio info, gear, and appearance. You know what they say, look good, feel good, play good. Do Mike Football is our name. <laughs> Mike Football. Okay. Lefty. Jersey number. We'll do number one. Home state. We're from Nevada, baby. Las Vegas. Okay, next, appearance. Um, look at that hair, got a set of hair on him. Um, kind of looks like me outside of the beard. <laughs> we'll select that one. And skin tone, what the, oops, did I not select it? Let's try that again. We don't gotta go too in the weeds on this. We could be at this all day. All right, check out. His hair is already pretty awesome, so we'll leave it. Oops, let's go to physique. Six foot, 
I am not even six foot in real life, guys. Surprise, surprise. I'm right around 5'11", but we'll make our guy, what, maybe 6'4"? And don't want him to be chubby. Maybe stick around 230? 230. 225? He'll be lean and mean. His arms will just be shredded. Okay. Looking good. Next up, we got our gear. I do like the ankle wraps. I think the ankle wraps look really neat. Um, let's see, we could change our helmet. Oh, we got one. That one's nice. Face mask. Yeah, let's get a dark one. Or a visor, sorry. Do dark visor. See, they can't see our eyes, guys. Mouthpiece. Your quarterback can't be doing that. All right. Torso. <laughs> okay. Probably do this one. Tight sleeves. Back plate. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, we don't need one. Shoulder pads. Medium's good. Neck pad. We don't need that. Flak jacket. We're good. Undershirt. That's fine. Arms, okay, what do we got? So these are sleeves, if we wanna put on sleeves. Oh, let's do none. Let's got the guns out, guys. Sun's out, guns out. We're not even gonna rock anything on our wrist either. Nothing. All right, but for the feet though, I think I do want to do the ankle wraps. Let's just see anything on here that we want to do. Pants. Um, hand warmer, we don't need that. Get rid of that. Okay, yep, let's get our ankle wraps now. Nice, like those. So we're gonna do both feet. Nice. All right, styles. So I guess this is our um, our celebration. Celebration, I think. <laughs> nice, like Tim Tebow. Time to choose your mental abilities. These will help to separate you from other players. They can be upgraded, and you'll even have the opportunity to activate more later in your career. Okay, so here's our mental abilities. We can do increased composure late in close games, improved ability to resist weather impacts, improved ability to play out of position, show post-snap blitzers. Yes, yeah, so we'll be headstrong. That's good. I like that one. Can we choose? Looks like we can only do more than one, right? Let's take one final look. Once you hit that confirm button, your road to glory begins. Oh, dang it. You 
Maybe we can change it later. I thought it only gave me the option to select once. That's why I'm kind of confused. Okay, whatever. We're good. Let's get started. And it hasn't given us the option to select our team yet. So maybe we're in high school still. Um... I'm doing a story on your college decision. I just have a few questions for you. Which of these do you see most important? Um, probably improving my abilities quickly. I see. Which of these is also important to you? I would say... Learning under... Uh, learning under a prestigious head coach. And finally, which of these is important to you? Playing for the same head coach all four years. That's it. I can't wait to see which university, university you eventually choose. Welcome to National Signing Day. Once you've selected your school, your college football career begins. You if you have me, aspirations to see the field early, pay close attention to the depth chart. And even if you didn't get your dream scholarship, you can be a walk-on at any school. Plus, there's always the transfer portal if you need a change of scenery down the line. So judging by the depth chart, we would be number one. So let's go ahead and sign with the Rebels. Now it's time to pack your bags and head off to college. Yeah, baby. Good luck on your career. I'll be rooting for you. Amen. Yeah, oh, and before I go, welcome to your freshman year. It's time to spend the skill points you have already earned to upgrade your player. Additionally, each week, you will need to manage your workload. Activities like practice will earn you coach trust. And as your coach trust increases, you can improve your spot on the depth chart and gain more play calling flexibility. Now, let's get to work. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade our player. Oh, I see. So we just have to hover on which one we want to do. Elusiveness. Um, we can add that if we want. Magician. Improved pocket movements. Improved pressure. Resist on the run. Oh, I do like that one. Break sack ability. Nice. Okay, we're good. We're good. He's in top 25. We're obviously not in the top 25. The Rebels are not a very good football team. Um, okay. Let's advance. So I assume there's some sort of training camp we'll have to go through. Clueless, low, high. Okay. So far, so good. You arrive as part of the talented recruiting class with high expectations to help lead this team to a potential playoff berth under the new format. Who will lean? Who will you lean on to help deal with that pressure this year? So I would say teammates. Your teammates respect you a little more. Nice. Welcome to UNLV, Mike. This entire coaching staff is glad you're here. I wanted to give you some information before you start your first season. Being a collegiate athlete isn't easy. You have a lot to balance in a finite amount of time. So you won't be able to do everything. How long you have depends on, on if you're on a short, normal, or bye week. You'll use any unspent energy resting. Quick pointer, you can earn coach trust by your in-game and in-game in-game and in-practice performance. How you do in position battles and the decisions you make 
oh, and your academic advisor should be reaching out to you soon to help detail that side of things. How are you feeling? I feel good. Excited for the year, coach. Okay. So, any good stories about us? No. <laughs> Weekly agenda. Not much going on there. So let's see if we can maybe get some practice done. Most of these I'll simulate, but I'm just, I'm curious how it works. It's always good to have options. Read your keys and score as many touchdowns as possible using only option plays. Um, let's do pocket presence, dodge projectiles, shatter targets. Learn why being a successful quarterback is just as hard as it looks. Scramble and survive. Let's try this one. Yeah, and I'm more focused on the games, so I'll see if we simulate if we still get points for it. Because if we do the practices too. Escape the pocket before it becomes a penalty zone. Buy time until the time till throw timer runs out. Then make a throw to the open receiver. You'll be awarded points for yards, touchdowns, and hot spots. Scoring a touchdown will increase your multiplier, but getting sacked or throwing an interception will reset it. Can we run? Oh, I can't run. Ready, go. Oh, what the? I pressed the button, Let's man. Go. There we go. Set, hut. Oh, what was that? All right, well, that sucked. <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing. That was rough. That was rough, guys. Um, He's probably not very confident in me right now. Says I have energy. Guess I can study if I want. Leadership. Let's work on that. Okay. Go ahead and skip a week. Ooh, got a game. Got a game, guys. Actually, no, we need to do, let's uh, simulate and see what happens if we get anything for it. Um, doesn't look like it. <laughs> so we may have to do our practices ourselves. Okay, so we're taking on the Houston Cougars.
Welcome to Houston, Texas, and the house Bill Yeoman and Andre Ware built home to the Houston Cougars where the fans are ready for liftoff. What an exciting matchup we have in store for you this afternoon, built around the pageantry, tradition, and everything that makes college football great. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the UNLV Rebels, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Houston Cougars. For EA Sports College Football, by Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. And Gal right. Super Sam playing key moments. All right, enable play selection to unlock. Oh, damn it, I can't choose my plays. How do we enable that? I want to choose my own plays, damn it. Accessibility. I don't know how to enable that. Control, no, that's not it either. I don't know how to turn that on, guys. I have no idea. Maybe coaching? No. Here we go. Hand off from the gun. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. On second down, he'll fire. Might be looking to run. Keeps it and gets past the chains. At midfield, he's got room. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing them. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers. They can't catch him because they're faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much electricity now with these guys. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Fires to the right. He's got it. He nice. will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And the Rebels are moving quickly down the field. Looking for room, it's Thomas. Finds a little bit of room, give him a couple down to the 23. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. It's a reverse. Really nice run there, good solid pickup and they'll move the sticks with a first down. The Rebels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The gift to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Going to work in the red zone. They Option play. Look at the read key to decide whether to give or keep the ball. Hold X to keep the ball with the quarterback. Tap L1 for quick. Tap L1 twice to fake. Hold L1 for strong. First down without getting it into the end zone. Power football with the run. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easy. Touchdown, Rebels! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. 
They strike first, and that opening drive of the season could not have gone better. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game, getting working, getting the touch. Playing pretty good so far. Playing good. Had that long run, touchdown pass, so, so far so good. And we're up right now. Looks like they got a field goal. Trying to move them on the counter. Ooh, got it for the first. Go. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. That's quite a start to a drive, and now they'll snap it from midfield. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Shakes off the defender. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And you're going to hear this guy's name a lot. They're going to ride the big fella. He's such a stud. They're going to build the offense around him. This is just game one, but you're going to get a lot of big runs from this guy. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Across Touchdown. The He's done. Yeah. And he slipped through the crowd and he'll house it. I didn't have to do nothing. UNLV. And I bet this coaching staff is jacked up to get this offense fired. What I don't like though is that I can't select the plays. We only get two more options to change the play. Looking for a physical I can try to audible, but this guy's running all over them, so I don't really need to. Run out to the 24. He now has 85 yards on the ground. A very productive first half here in the season opener. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. He's there to make the stop. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. I think a big key in this team's success today has been their ability to run the football. They've been able to just hand it off and go churn out yards. They've had this defense on their heels all game long. It's given them a big cushion in this game so far. Let's see if they can keep it up. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Thomas. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Goes to the option. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And the Rebels trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Looking to throw. Got it! And he will score! Touchdown, Rebels! I know we're only in game one, but in this half, you've got to be excited about what you've seen from this offense. Really nice rhythm. Quarterbacks got great command on the field with respect to what they're trying to do. And they've got... All right, two touchdowns already for me. 100% completion percentage. I know Houston isn't the best team, but we're playing really well for our first game. And hopefully this will get us a lot of experience and improve our stats. Ready? Let's go! Ah! He's looking to throw it. Bought a little time, let's it go. Oh. And it's incomplete. If you're gonna take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Second down coming up. Jack Rabbit. Off the play fake. Caught on the outside. It's Allen. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. On the move to his left. He'll pull it down and run. And the strategy of just letting the quarterback run until he gets tired is not a winning one. Another explosive play and another first down. The Rebels come to the line with a new set of downs. Stepping to the right. 
On the run, fires downfield. Touchdown, UNLV. And they take it in for six more points. Number now, if we're just wrecking every team like this, then obviously I'll improve the difficulty. But this is my first game in years, so I didn't want to overdo it. But we're playing well. Playing well. About to hit halftime. I think if we go up by enough points, they may pull me out the game. They'll throw it on first down. Quarterback now breaking the field. Still on his feet at the 45. That was not a slide. And he was off to the races and he gets it to <laughs> Why is he diving? I tried to slide. Offense goes on the attack on first and 10. He wants to throw. Whoa. Oh. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Throws to the wideout. He's got him wide open. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back. Touchdown again. Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. Number it. We're going to get four touchdowns, 138 yards. I'm trying to get on that Heisman list. That's what I'm trying to do. Comes out throwing on first down. With the catch, it's Thomas. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Floating away. Showing the bravado, throw. throwing it back to the right. It is incomplete, and now He's there are only the four quarter. seconds remaining. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And he's bounced out of bounds, but not before a very productive pickup. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, many thanks. Happy to provide a break in the action to kind of pour over exactly what has transpired so far. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in the cage. On the ready. Probably just run out the quarter or run out the rest of the game. He'll start this third quarter with a run. Ran he's right gone. through the defender, he's and gone. now he's still running. And he breaks into the open. At the 30. He's gone. Inside oh, my gosh. The 10. Touchdown, UNLV. And the stomping has commenced. the gun the inside give and he knocked him down after a gain of three to the 23 okay. thought our running back was hurt it's just like, simple oh, no. simple first down run showing your physicality setting your offense up in a good spot they'll keep it on the ground makes a man miss tackled after picking up the first down well, on offense you've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game they're supposed to be skipping ahead not sure why it's not doing that. Let me see. Oh, I can't change this in the game. Hmm. It shows it's on, right? Pretty sure it's on. This movement up front. They're climbing in the second level and really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Now on second down. 
He's looking to throw. Wide open downfield. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. When receivers are running slant routes against man coverage, sometimes you get open using speed, but sometimes it's pure physicality. This receiver does a great job using his hands, and then he's able to fight his way to the inside. At the end of the day, he just wanted that football more. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert oh. this one. Dude, Pressure what happened to my line? From the defense, they knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. Al oh, got another field goal. The old coaching cliche go 1-0 every week, and for the first week, they get it done. Yeah, great start to the season. That's what you want. You want to come out, find a way to win. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. You're going to find things to work on throughout oh the my season. Goodness. 1-0, that's where you want it to be. And I think if you're the coaching staff of this winning team, you've got to like what you've just seen. First game of the year, there was tremendous effort on the field. Guys flying around, flying to the football, trying to make the plays necessary to win this game. They definitely made a few mistakes, but that's what practice is for. But if you're the coaching staff, I think you're very, very positive right now moving forward. And that's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. So this running back might give me a run for my money for the Heisman. This dude is quick, super quick. Look at that, we jumped up a lot. So we have three skill points right now. So we can, oh no, we don't have enough. Gotta save up, gotta save it. I think I'll do another game, maybe one more game. A really long video. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, Mike. I'll be your academic advisor for the time here. We're glad to have find, glad to have you. Um, I missed what you said at the beginning. Spend time each week studying. That won't always make you an A student immediately, but studying also prepares you for midterms on week eight and finals on week 15. If you ignore studying, your GPA will plummet come exam week. Finally, if you finish each of your first three years with at least a 3.7, you can graduate early. Not have to worry about grades when you're a senior. Questions? Thanks, advisor. We own a local sporting store and want you and some other players to come for a meet and greet in a couple of weeks. Sign autographs. So help increase your local following and bring you new people to your to our business. This is our proposal for the two-week contract. For the cost of one energy per week, you'll receive 500 followers each week of the contract. Um, I guess.
Here we go. Complete passes within a time limit and score as many touchdowns as possible. You'll be awarded bonus points for longer passes. Completed passes will increase your score multiplier and incomplete passes will reset it. Oh, sh picked off. Get oh, set. man. Terrible. Moves. Down. This is a little bit harder Ready. than the game. <laughs> and he dropped it. Oh, Easy. Oh my gosh. Jack Rabbit. Playing terrible. Hunt. There we go. Finally. Cobra. Finally. Catch it? Green oh, got it. Nice. Ready, go. Slab. Ready, ready. Oh, damn it. Picked off. Oh. 42 spider. Ready. Oh, well, we got a bronze. Something. Trying to get that coach trust so we can select our own plays, because then I'll just pass every play. I'll sabotage our running back. All right, got another game. Oh, I'll check it next week. Actually, let me see. I was checking to see the top story, top stories, to see if we're on it. I don't think we are. We didn't play that well. Oh my gosh, that dude had 391 yards. Yeah, it's going to be tough for us to get in that Heisman conversation unless we're able to throw a bit more. Our coach tends to lean towards running. Oh, oops. Go back. under league settings. I'm trying to make sure the accelerated clock is on. Oh, it's not. Okay. Make the game go by quicker. Minimum play clock time. Alright, game number two. Our running back is an absolute beast. I guess as long as he's getting us the victories, that's that's kind of what matters. Because if we go undefeated, 
we should make it to the playoffs. Red light City going to set my soul on fire. Welcome to Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world and home to the running rebels of UNLV. Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake as we know any. I'm not going to listen to that every game, guys, unless you guys want me to. But just to speed it up, let's go ahead and get started. Gonna run it, it's Thomas. Oh, it gives him the tough stiff arm. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. You wanna talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. It's incomplete. What? Good job by the defense sticking with its coverage. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. At the 45 on its way. He's close. Yeah. Ripping off a huge chunk of yardage, and he's got it just outside the 10 at the 11. And the Rebels have it with a first and 10. He'll pull it on the read. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Stole our running back shine. Sorry, man. Leaves it with the back. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Now the play fake. Oh and he goodness, was hit man. just as he released it, and it falls to the surf. Freaking blitzes. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. This pass rush is serious, man. When you watch them on film, they do a nice job in the back end, taking away all the throws downfield. He's trying to get to his check down, but that pressure gets to him, and they hit force the incomplete. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. First and 10. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just He's scrambles gone. around, Touchdown. makes people... Got some room, headed to the goal line. All right, so passing isn't working out so good, so, uh, so, well, so far, but at least our running is. And their offense is just doo-doo. They're not scoring nothing. On the run, it's Allen. Great move there. Look at that. Oh, Tom man, just again? Running through Everybody! Oof. Touchdown, Rebels! Okay, break. They'll leave it with him. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Here we go! Go! The play-action fake. Let's it fly. Got his man downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. The Rebels looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Quickly complete. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Hand off from the shotgun. Another and touchdown. And he'll take it oh, to the house. I might need to adjust the difficulty because it's not even just me. It's, it's our uh, NPCs. Like they're all really, really good. The other teams just suck. They can't they'll score throw anything. it on first down. Now moving to his right, looking for anyone that's open. At the 40, there he goes. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is Another going to take time. off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back like ability out in space. And the Rebels will try to put one on the board on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown. 
All right, we're gonna need to adjust the difficulty. That's this is getting way, way too simple. If we just give it to our running back in every single play, he's getting 30 yards. The give to the back makes one man miss. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Buys a little time with his feet. He'll pull it down. And this is why a mobile quarterback is a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare. He has just been running wild all day. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First and ten for the offense. Looking for a gap. It's Thomas. He has the first and still on his feet. Another one. And the oh defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. This dude's Barry Sanders. They'll go to the ground. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. On second down, he'll let it fly. Fires to the tight end. Stop is made at the 44, but it's a 15-yard gain and a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. He's going to take off. On the move at the 30. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage, and they've got it on the 22. This guy just gives you nightmares. I mean, he's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback. A quarterback doing that to your defense. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, UNLV. And they add six more to the board with it. Even our backups are scoring touchdowns. They won the game today. That's two in a row. If they win the next one, it's called a winning streak. It's been done before. And we're seeing the identity of this team coming to fruition. You just get the sense they're fine. Yeah, I mean, our running back did everything. I mean, I had a decent game. You know, I had some good rushing yards, but I mean, that dude hogged all the touchdowns. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that change to the difficulty. Yeah, so we'll try on varsity. Got some time this week if you want to get some extra reps and anything you want to work on. Um, let's do selling play action. Uh oh. So we turned up the volume, but then, or turned up the volume, turned changed the difficulty. But now we're taking on number 12, Kansas. Oh, I'm scared. All right, everyone. Let's go ahead and call it here for this first episode of our NCAA football. Is this Road to Glory? What was this one called? 
um, whatever this diff whatever this uh, one is that we're playing, <laughs> uh, one of them is Road to Glory. But doing good so far. We're two and zero. We are our running back is really really good. So I guess we'll see if he continues that as we progress through uh, progress to a higher difficulty with varsity. And we're also taking on number twelve Kansas. So I'm sure they're going to be a lot better than the other teams that we played so far. If varsity is just kicking our butts, then we may have to go back down to freshmen, at least until we improve our stats, and then eventually we'll move back up to varsity, but I think we'll be okay. Um, I think the game should just be a lot closer, because right now they're just complete blowouts, so I think both games we won by like 50 points, so that's not going to be fun for you guys to watch, because they're not very intriguing, because they're not close at all. So at the start of the next episode, we will take on Kansas, and we'll see how we do. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. Catch you on the next one very soon.